What's up guys, Inigami here, and let's go through the 30 Stamina Summertime Reiju Island on the Japanese version of One Piece Treasure Cruise. Oh yeah. Summertime Reiju has a ton of special interrupts. There's, uh, there's, she'll clear, she'll despair both your captains for five turns if you use any special that deals damage to her. But if you use basically any other special in the game, she gives you a positive buff. For example, if you use a orb manipulating special, then she'll boost your attack by 1.75 times for three turns. If you use an orb booster, she will rewind your cooldowns, or if not rewind, she will increase your cooldowns. So she'll actually shorten your specials, make it make your specials faster by five turns. If you use an attack boosting special, then she will give you matching orbs. And if you poison her, she'll clear buffs, first of all, and then after that she will give you an affinity boost. So you want to use a poisoning special before you use any other specials, and she will limit you to two specials per turn. So with the two special per turn limit and the three turn buffs, and knowing that poisoning clears all buffs for us, we will be using two specials first and two specials later on. Auto target on this island is somehow way worse than auto target anywhere else. Auto target constantly tries to kill the evolvers on this island, which is pretty dumb. But yeah, auto target just keeps trying to kill characters. Neptune is great for this island, gives you extra EXP, and we'll also want to have our Neptune specials ready for stage 5. And the reason we want to have Neptunes ready for stage 5 is because stage 5 can give us characters with resilience on them. And Neptune Special will get rid of our resilience. So get your Neptune Special before Stage 5. There's three different Reijus on Stage 5. Stage 5 Reijus with three dudes at very low health. That one is easily taken care of thanks to Neptune. Reiju with uh, end of turn damage and a health cut. And blind. Here's the most annoying one possibly. This one has end of turn damage. Blind makes perfect hard to hit and a one hit perfect barrier. You can also get Reiju with three dudes in the back and a four hit perfect barrier. Uh, but that one is probably the easiest. You don't need to use any specials for the one uh, four hit perfect barrier Reiju. Just hit your perfects. She doesn't even make perfects harder to hit or anything. This one is the most annoying. Uh, you can use a Neptune special here. We won't need it later on. And then we can hopefully just like kill her. Nope. Nope. There we go. Each Reiju has about 300 to 400,000 hit points. This one, if it's Reiju with fodder units, she'll have 320,000 hit points. If it's Reiju with other units, she will have 400,000 hit points. I mean, Reiju by herself has 400,000 hit points. Reiju with others will have 300,000 hit points. And we don't really need to wait out the blind. We will have chain lock with Hancock, so blind doesn't matter at all. Final stage, Reiju has 3.2 million hit points. She'll have a health barrier. First of all, don't skip the special. She's going to have an extra health barrier that is 2 million hit points. So altogether, she has about 5.2 million hit points. And oh man, that is nice, Reiju. She'll prevent delay to herself, limit you to 2 specials per turn, and have that health barrier. She only attacks for 4,400 hit points every turn, so... With a double Neptune team, since Neptune heals you every turn, you actually won't die here ever. We're going to use Magellan first, because Magellan will poison her or toxic her, and she will clear our buffs and give us affinity boost. After that, you use your Hancock special. It gives you two matching orbs. Since you use an orb manipulation special, she will give you an attack boost. And then we're going to throw away whatever non-matching orbs that we have and just pass the turn. Turn two, we still have our affinity boost and our attack boost. We're going to get a conditional attack boost with Sabo, doesn't do anything. Also makes matching orbs on cerebral characters. So I actually could have put a purple orb on Dopey here and gotten one more matching orb. Should have done that, oh well. Doesn't really matter what order you do these two uh, Dofi and Sabo specials in, as long as your very first special is Magellan. So with the orb boost from Dofi, we get a special rewind. Not going to help us though. But with that, hit your perfects. 
And you'll be able to do that 5 million damage to her with like tons and tons of different boosts. You got conditional attack boost, affinity boost, tight boost, or boost. Takes her down easy peasy. And you get a ton of XP thanks to a double Neptune and the Vander Decken ship. You can do this with a double dopey team too, a double dopey driven team where you burst on stage six and then use double dopes to kill through the final stage is very nice. If you get these, these are worth extra XP. You've got small, medium, and large here, each worth uh, up to, the large one is 3 million XP, so we got a nice result there. And Raju herself is really, 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 really good. First of all, she's sexy as all heck. And Reiju is... Where are you, Reiju? Boo -doo 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 -doo. I know I got you. There you are. Sexy as all heck. Captain ability boosts attack by 1.5 times. Boosts recovery by 1.2 times. If you killed an enemy on the last turn, she'll increase your attack value and goes up to three point uh, three times attack boost after eight stacks. So that is basically old legend Alkiji's captain ability going all the way up to a three times attack boost, which is pretty nice. Special ability is really where she's great. It goes all the way down to a 15 st turn special for stage three, only a seven turn special for stage one. At stage 1, 7 turns, delays for 1 turn, and makes valley matching and block orbs not reduce damage for 3 turns. So that's a 7 turn, 1 turn delay. Amazing. Or a 15 turn, 2 turn delay that also reduces paralysis, bind, despair, and silence duration by 2 turns. And makes valley matching and block orbs not reduce damage for 3 turns. So it doesn't make those specials count as matching, it just makes it that way. If you have a badly matching orb, it'll just count as a neutral orb, just as if your orbs got locked or something like that, instead of actually lowering your attack. And her Sailor ability reduces silence on herself by 3 turns, so you can always use her as a 2 turn silence reducer, 2 turn delayer, 2 turn paralysis reducer, 2 turn bind reducer, and also makes it... She just looks nice. Oh wait, one more, one more, let's look at... Oh, that evolved art. Mmm. Mm, three sockets. Good stuff. Great Reiju. Absolutely farm the butts off her. I've been Zinigami, guys. Get some of that. Thank you so much for watching, and y'all stay beautiful.